welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Sometimes people ask me for reliable, credible sources of free information for penny stocks, OTC, over-the-counter stocks, that type of thing, because you have to be careful out there. And so I'm going to recommend three of them here. And the first one is otcmarkets.com. And you can look at the home page, but what I like to do is I like to go to the menu at the top and go to market activity and then go down, go to news. And I'll click on that and it'll take me to the news page and then go down and hey, look, news releases. And these are not all penny stocks, but they are OTC type of stocks. And uh, hey, you might see some familiar ones, right? Here's Aurora Cannabis, all of you cannabis stock aficionados will certainly know that one and here's CV sciences another one all right and financial reports these are good to definitely good to look at and SEC filings also a great thing to look at and it may give you some ideas on what to look at and what not to look at if you see a stop sign <laughs> that could be trouble if you see a yield sign all right these are things you want to be aware of for sure uh, also, they have a stock screener, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of stock screeners out there. I recently did a video on stock screeners. You may want to check that out. Some of my favorite ones. But uh, otcmarkets.com has a stock screener. And it's got lots of stocks that maybe you've never heard of. And you can put in all of your criteria here. Security type, which market, that kind of thing. Pretty cool. All right, so there's that. And then here's another one, FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. And uh, if you want their page, it is otce.finra.org. And some things you want to look at if you're here, or I would want you to look at at least, you want to know about bankruptcies, right? They have a, a list, a daily updated list of bankruptcies, for example. All right, and you can put in your date range. Let's look at August. Okay, it looks like this company may have had some problems, right? If they're on this list here. Uh, dividends, security attribute changes. Another one is trading halts. That's pretty important. You might want to consider avoiding a stock if it has a lot of trading halts. If <laughs> Okay, if the government or other regulatory agency feels the need to come in and halt trading on a stock yeah that that may be a red flag all right and so here are some examples right here according to the FINRA website so those are th some things to look at and here's another one it's investors hub this has uh, a website investorshub.advfn.com right there and what I like to do is I can go to Newswire at the top. Here it is, Newswire. I'm going to click on that and wait till that comes up. And then you can go down, 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 past all this stuff. It might be kind of hard to find. <laughs> and you go down to the newsroom at the bottom. And it has, yeah, it has some cryptocurrency news, but it also has some of the latest happenings in the world of penny stocks and over-the-counter stocks and things like that all right so here's something about title Roy royalty corp and here's something about beta music group smaller stocks immune therapeutics Inc green box direct view holdings these are some smaller to medium-sized companies they're not necessarily going to be blue chips or mega caps but that's okay and you can read the news items there on the newsroom at Investors Hub. I think that's pretty cool that they have these features and that they are, right now at least while I'm making this video, they are free as far as I know. Okay, so you may want to check those out and decide for yourself whether these are credible sources. I like them, but you have to make your own decisions. And if you have other resources or comments about this video, please put them in the comments section below this video. If you like this video, I hope you like it, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And also, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. Hit that bell on YouTube so you can receive the latest updates on my financial educational videos. And by the way, if you want more help with stocks, 
trading, investing, that kind of thing, I can help you. My email address is davidmodell at gmail.com. You can reach out to me. We can talk about it, how I can help you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it informative. My name is David Modell. This is Looking at the Markets. I'll talk to you again really soon. Oh, 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 oh,